Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today we're going to be talking about Halloween patterns. As you can see from the clip at the beginning of this video, it's already Halloween time here. <laughs> um, it is only September 3rd. Yesterday is when I decorated for Halloween, and there's actually more decorations that I want to get. I, and also, I have a couple things at the fair still until next Sunday, and then they'll be hanging here. That'll be my frog on a pumpkin and my Halloween wreath. So I wanted to do like a fun roundup of Halloween patterns that I either have done in like or that I've seen in like and want to do myself. It's going to be a mix of paid for patterns and free patterns, but every one of them will be linked below and I'll have written out beside it whether it's paid or free. I'm also going to mention a couple of designers that you guys already know that I love and show a little clip of their um, groups of patterns because they both have a ton of Halloween patterns that are super cute. All right, so let's hop into the first one. I'll pop up pictures right here of what they look like, and these are pictures from the designer's Facebook pages or websites. I'm also planning on doing another one of these videos for fall-themed uh, patterns and, of course, Christmas. All right, so the first one, and I really want to make this pattern. It's so cute. I think it only came out recently. Uh, my laptop's right here, and that's where my notes are. So, but Because um, I've seen it floating around Facebook, uh, the designer's page I like on Facebook, so it popped up there. But um, I definitely have this on my favorites, and I definitely want to make this pattern. It's called the Halloween Countdown Calendar by the Left-Handed Crocheter. And it is super cute. It's basically, it's kind of like an advent calendar, but for Halloween. <laughs> and um, I don't think you could put candy and stuff in it, but it's super adorable. You move the little ghost from each pocket, you know, according to the day, all the way down to the Halloween day. So I think that's super cute, and I think Jesse would enjoy like seeing it and interacting with it. I think it'd be real good for kids and anyone like me who just loves Halloween. The next pattern is called Shimmering Ghosts, and it's by someone that I can't say, but it'll be linked below. Super cute little um, ghosts that you could just you know set around your house on a mantle or on a shelf or something. And this one is one I'm currently working on. It's the Halloween Granny Square Blanket by Maria's Blue Crown. It was a crochet along, and it is a paid-for PDF, or you can go to her website and get it for free. I am currently working on it, and I'm hoping to get it done in a week or so, hopefully before uh, Halloween, obviously. I'm thinking maybe this weekend I'll have it done. This is the one I found recently that I actually really want to make, and this is... Um, sold in a kit when you buy this one you get the yarn and the pattern and it's only it's normally $18 I think but right now it's on sale for $12 it's called the Halloween stack by Mary Maxim here's a cute um, Halloween pennant I found I think I found like three of them I have three I think listed on my um, my list <laughs> but this is called the Halloween ghost pennants by another name that I can't say but it'll be linked below this is a cute wreath. I think I have two wreaths on this list. This one's called the Halloween Wreath by Erica Fedor. I made her pattern, one of her patterns, the American flag wreath that I made for the fair, um, was her pattern also. And they're made exactly the same way with these like long strips of shelled colors. You, and then you wrap it around the wreath form and then you can add appliques or little amigurumis or whatever just to decorate it. It's really cute. These ones are cute little appliques that would be cute as buntings or as decorations on wreath or a blanket or any I mean, all kinds of different things you could use these. The Spooky Halloween Friends by Jen Mitchell. This one I actually made and it's at the fair. Uh, this is the uh, Halloween Bat Wreath by Sarah Zimmerman. She's also got a cat one but I just added a few other little things on it to make it you know more Halloweeny for me and um, it's actually at the fair right now. <laughs> this is another pattern that I've actually made. It's the Halloween Ghost Amigurumi. He's sitting right over there under my TV. He is super cute and I'm planning on making another one using that same pattern but I'm going to change the colors and instead of putting a top hat on him I'm going to put a a bow or something and make it like a girly one so he has a little girlfriend sitting over there with him. <laughs> that ghost pattern is by Amigurumi today. Alright, I found this one today and it's super cute. It's a little raven and it's by I Crochet Things. I don't know if I've made one of their other patterns but I can't remember exactly what it was. But this would be cute on a wreath or just sitting around, you know, tucked up in a corner somewhere. Maybe make a couple of different ones and stick them all over your living room. It would be really cute. This one's Candy Clops by Julie King. I made some of these for my Halloween wreath hanging down below. I didn't put the face on there, the mouth or the eyes. But you could do that if you wanted to make them like spooky. But I just made the little candy corns and they're really good size. And if you change the type of yarn you use or the size of your hook, you can make different layer size ones. So you can make like a whole bunch of different random ones. Alright, here are two more buntings. I really love buntings and I'm wanting to make a Halloween bunting for our house because I didn't make one last year. I made one for just about every other holiday but not Halloween. But the first one is Halloween Party Banner by a name I cannot say. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing names. But um, super cute. 
And then the next one is Halloween Bunting by TLH Patterns. Another super cute one. I'd kind of like make all three of the ones I mentioned in this video. All right, and the next thing I have to talk about is um, two of my favorite designers, which if you guys have watched me at all, you know that it, two of my favorite designers are Mary Smith and Heidi Yates. They both have a lot of Halloween themed or Halloween-ish um, patterns, and they both have them separated out on their Ravelry store in categories. And I'll link those below, and I'll show you a little clip right here of both of them. Um, Heidi Yates has all these wonderful little amigurumis and scarves and garden flags. She has all kinds of just Halloween decorations and um, you can tweak them easily to make them fit your home or your other decorations. You know, you could always change the colors and stuff. And then the next one is Mary Smith and I absolutely love her giant amigurumis. She has just some of the best giant amigurumi patterns, I think, and uh, they're all just adorable and I want to make them all but yeah, that was just a quick roundup of some Halloween patterns that I've either made or that I've um, seen recently and want to make that I thought were cute and I wanted to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to be, go ahead and click the sub subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications. If you thought this video was pretty cool and you think someone else might like it, go ahead and share it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.